Howdy fellas, talk to you today a little bit about uh, vent picks. You don't uh, you see them used in a lot of black powder shooting videos, don't really go into any detail about why they're used. Uh, basically what it is, your touch hole on a flint lock is probably about a sixteenth of an inch in diameter, which is pretty small. It doesn't take a lot to stop that up. Now a lot of people say pick that vent every shot, but I don't feel like that's necessary. If you're in a situation where you're in a real humid environment or something like that, you might want to. But anyway, you just take that and insert it in a hole and kind of clean out the channel. But I want to show you a few examples of them. This is a really, really nice one that was sent to me by my buddy Steve, the West Virginia Scrounger. It's real ornate, real pretty. And then there's an example of one forged on a ring of flinters tools. Really nice. And here's one that's made out of brass that's on a ring of flinters tools. And you can see that right there. It's a pretty good size one. But it's been sharpened or tapered down to where it would work real well. And here's a, a tiny one. It'd be hard to keep up with. You put that in your hat band or something to use that for. And Worst comes to worst, in a pinch, you could use a paper clip. You might have to sharpen the end of it just a little bit to get it go down in the hole good. But, you know, it'd work, that'd be for sure. So, that's just some examples of that. Uh, use it every time if you want to. If you don't feel comfortable with your gun, it's not going to go off. But that's just something for you to think about. I thank you for watching. Keep your powder dry. Magic top not pilgrim.